all begin. Hallelujah. 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 Kol Le Elohe Avraham Yitzchak Yisrael, who has blessed us with even the gift of life this day, the Holy One of even the Creator of heaven and earth. Thanking Yah Yisrael for our lives, for those that are traveling to this place and places such as this, we pray for their safe arrival. And thanking Yah Yisrael for all of our family that is tuned in with us online. And even at this time, as we face the Mizraka, as we say the Kuma, even the words that were said as the Creator led our ancestors through the wilderness. Kuma, Yehoah, weya fusu oevecha, weya nusu misanecha mipanecha. Kuma, Yehoah, weya fusu oevecha, weya nusu misanecha mipanecha. Kuma, Yehoah, weya fusu oevecha, weya nusu misanecha mipanecha. Rise up. O oh, Yah, and may thy enemies be scattered, and those that hate thee flee from before thee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom lachem. It is my divine pleasure to even start off this morning service. My name is Mishraet Netanyahu, and we have come even this day on the seventh day during the Feast of Kag Sukkot to even praise Yah's high and holy name. Even at this time, as we sing Zayat HaShabbat. Zayet ha Shabbat, same yakani. Zayet ha Shabbat, same yakani. Zayet ha Shabbat, same yakani. Ani yohe ba yom shalashe. Zayet ha yomato, same yakani. Zayet ha yomato, same yakani. Zayet ha yomato, same yakani. Ani yohe pa yom shalashe Ki Hashem hu shalak Ko yomi Ki Hashem hu natan Ko devarim Alelu, alelu, alelu Ya asheshir kadash Sameyakani Asheshir kadash Sameyakani Asheshir kadash Sameyakani Ani yohe pa yom shel Hashem. Ani yohe pa yom shel Hashem. Zayet hashabat sameyakani. Zayet hashabat sameyakani. Zayet hashabat sameyakani. Ani yohe pa yom shel Hashem. Zayet hayomato sameyakani. Zayet ha-yomato, sameyakani. Zayet ha-yomato, sameyakani. Ani yohe pa-yom shel Hashem. Ki Hashem hu shalak, ko yomim. Ki Hashem hu natan, ko devarim. Alelu, alelu, alelu. Ya ha-shishir kadash, sameyakani. Asheshir Kadash, Sameyakani. Asheshir Kadash, Sameyakani. Ani yohe pa yom shel Hashem. Ani yohe pa yom shel Hashem. Ani yohe pa yom shel Hashem. Hallelujah. 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 Yehoah Eloheinu. Elohe Avoteinu. Elohe Avraham Yitzchak Yisrael. Elohe Zevaot. Rakata Elohim Wa'ain Od. We are thankful unto thee, Yehoah Elohim, even the giver and the sustainer of our lives, Yehoah. We thank you, Yah, for even waking us up this day, even giving us the strength, Yah, to put our feet to the ground, to even stand up with the strength that you have put within our bones, even in our bodies, to even rise and praise thy high and holy name. We thank you, Yah, Yisrael, for all of your many blessings, even for each breath that you give us moment by moment, even sustaining our lives, for you are Makor Hakaim, even the source of all living. 
we are thankful unto thee, Yah Yisrael, even for this Shabbat day that falls even in the midst of Kog Sukkot, even the blessing that you have put upon us, even the double measure that you have given us from the Shemaim, from your heavens, Yah Yisrael. We thank you, Yah, for even commandments such as this, to even gather together with family and friends, to even gather together with loved ones, and even all of thy people, Yisrael, even to study in thy law, to even hold the Mikra Kodesh, where we are able, Yah, to even lift each other up, to build each other up in thy law, even in thy knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that you have put within our midst. We thank you, Yah, even for the brothers. We thank you, Yah, even for the sisters. We thank you, Yah, for the elders and the children, all of the souls that are before thee, Yah. We thank you for each and every one of us. Bavakwashah, Yah, Yisrael, may your ruach be upon us this day, even as we praise thy high and holy name, and even as we study in thy Torah. Allow us, Yah, Yisrael, to even receive even what we need, Yah, for you know, even in the depths of our souls, the questions and the inquirings in which we have. Allow us, Yah, to receive those things, even from the lesson of this day. For, Yah, we shall even study of Zot and Barakah, even the blessings that Moshe put upon even the tribes of Israel. May you, Yah, even allow us to look within these blessings, to even find our strength, and to even turn unto thee, Yah, with all of our heart, all of our soul, and all of our might. Bavakwasha, Yah, Yisrael. For we all have had our slates wiped clean, even on Yom Kippur, and we seek, Yah, to even at this time do what is right in thy sight. May you not allow us, Yah, to fall back to the wayside. May you not allow us to even fall back into the cycles of sin that have held us, even in, even in sin and even in evil, Yah. May you allow us to continue to strive to draw closer unto thee ascending even up that ladder of Yaakov, even drawing close unto thee, if it is even thy will, Yehovah Elohim. For who shall approach thee, Yah, but the one that you shall bring forth unto you? May you, Yah, even look upon us with mercy and with favor to even bring before thee and even thy highest courts of thy glory, Yehovah Elohim. We shall praise thee, Yah, now and forevermore. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. Yah, Kai! Yah, Kai! Yarkai Selah O Shema Yisrael Yahuwah Eloheinu Eloheinu Yahuwah Eloheinu Yahuwah Eloheinu Yahuwah Eloheinu Yahuwah Eloheinu Yahuwah Eloheinu Maku tole ola maku tole ola maku tole ola mo baruch shem kevod maku tole ola le ola wae o shema Yisrael Yahowa Eloheinu Yahowa Eloheinu Yahowa Eloheinu o shema Yisrael. Yahuwa Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahuwa hu ekad. O Baruch Shem Kevod, Maku tole ola, Maku tole ola, Maku tole ola, O Baruch Shem Kevod, Maku tole ola, Le ola, Mwaeh. Hallelujah. At this time, you all may please be seated. Even as we move into our congregational morning prayers, where we join our voices together to praise Yah Yisrael, even the Holy One of our ancient ancestors. As they are shared with you all on the screen, may we join our voices together in love and in unity. Hallelujah. Blessed art thou, O Yehovah, our power, and blessed be the works of thy hands. And the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, Yah finished his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day and hallowed it, because that in it he rested from all his work, which Yah in creating had made. O thou who art most holy, look upon thy people in mercy. Hear thou us, O power of Abraham. Nurture us, O power of Yitzchak. Save us, we implore thee, O power of Israel. Blot us not out, O Yah, though our sins be many. Cast our evil doings into the bottomless pit, to remain forevermore. Our hope is in thee, O Yah, and without thy mercy we have not. Father of wisdom, thou dispenser of knowledge, cause our hearts to discern and our minds to retain thy law. Bless Yisrael to know thee as we did in the days of yore. 
Let the sign of the Shabbat shine brightly from this thy house and from us thy people, Yisrael. Let our voices mingle with the hosts of heaven as we joyfully proclaim. Blessed be the name of our power and blessed be his holy day. Hallelujah. Shema. Shema. Israel, Yahuwah, Eloheinu, Yahuwah, Eloheinu, This is the day which Jehovah has made, and we will be glad and rejoice thereon. Unto thee do I lift up mine eyes, O thou that are enthroned in the heavens. Ascribe unto Jehovah the glory due unto his name. Worship Jehovah in the beauty of holiness. In thee, O Yah, do I take refuge. Let me never be ashamed. Thou hast given us joy in the place of sorrow. Thy truth is like a heady wine. Shout for joy, O ye children of Yisrael. Proclaim the name of our king, to whom the sun doth shine and the wind sing. Jehovah is our sun and shield, who then could master us? Of our fathers do we give honor and glory, for who is Yah beside thee? Be thou our judge, O Yah, against the ungodly nations. Save us, O our king, we beseech thee. Then shall we come clapping, singing, jumping, shouting, praising, crying, and extolling thy holy name. For with thee is the fountain of light. In thy light do we see light. Thy loving kindness, Yah, is in the heavens. Thy faithfulness reaches unto the skies. Depart from evil and do good, and dwell forevermore in peace. For Yahuwah loveth justice and forsaketh not his holy ones. Hallelujah. Shema. Shema. Yisrael. Yahuwah Eloheinu Yahuwah Eloheinu Yahuwah of Abraham, who didst call our father from Chaldea? Art thou not he, O power of Israel? Where is the power of Yitzchak, who did bless him with the righteous Rivqua? Thou art one in the same. Who knoweth him who changed Yaakov's name? Thou, O Yah, will forever remain. Though Yosef sojourned in Egypt, yet did all men show him favor. Thy hand, O Yah, was with him. Thou didst help Moshe and Yisrael against Pharaoh, who stood up the mighty Red Sea. Manna dropped from heaven to sustain thy people in the wilderness. They fashioned a calf to bow down to. Yet to Yisrael didst thou show mercy. 
We give thanks unto thee, O Yah. We will tell of thy wondrous works. In Yehuda is Yah known. His name is great in Yisrael. His foundation is in the holy mountains. We will sing of the mercies of Yehoah forever. Unto all generations will we make them to be known. Stay thou, O Yah, in the midst of us. Cause righteousness once more to be sown. So shall the heavens praise thy wonders, Yah, thy faithfulness in the holy assembly. Let Yisrael awaken the day with their praises. Glory to Yah, now and forevermore. Hallelujah, Shema. Shema. Yisrael. Yahowah. Earnestly will I seek thee. Hear my voice, merciful Father. Preserve me from mine enemies. Send out thine angels to protect me. O thou that hearest prayer. With thy mighty hand, Yah, subdue all those that hate us. Remember us in mercy, Yah, and pardon all our transgressions. Except our power doth bless us, how could we hope to prosper? Unless our Creator protect us, we are as if we had not been. Stay thy hand, O death. For he doth forgive our iniquities. So will I sing praises to his name, that I may perform my vows. The dead praise not Jehovah, nay, nor any that go down into silence. Let us extol our power while we have life. Sing praises to our power while we have any being. Together we will lift up our voices and gratefully sing. Withhold not thy voice from extolling our maker. Let young and old praise him together. Let the tribes come near and testify, even the tribes of Yisrael, the mighty of Jehovah. Say among the nations, Jehovah reigneth, thy power, Yisrael, over all the world. For Jehovah will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. Thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness becometh thy house, now, O Yah, and forevermore. Hallelujah. We have taken the fruit of goodly trees, branches of palm trees, Balls of thick trees and willows of the brook, and we rejoice before Yehoah, our power. Hallelujah. O Shema Israel, Yahowah Eloheinu, Yahowah Eloheinu, Yahowah Eloheinu, O Shema Israel, Yahowah Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahowah Ekan, O Baruch Shem Kevod, Maaku Tole Ola, Maaku. Tole olam ma'ku, tole olam o'shema Yisrael, Yahowah Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahowah Eka. Baruch Shem Kibbut, ma'ku, tole olam ma'ku, tole olam ma'ku, tole olam o'baruch Shem Kibbut, ma'ku, tole olam le'olam wa'ye. Shema Yisrael, Yahowah Eloheinu, Yahowah Eloheinu, Yahowah Eloheinu, O Shema Yisrael, Yahowah Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahowah Echad. O Baruch Shem Kibbut, Malku Tole Olam, Malku Tole Olam, Malku Tole Olam, O Baruch Shem Kibbut, Malku Tole Olam, Le'olam Wa'ye. O 
Shema Israel. Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, O Shema Israel. Yahuwah Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahuwah Echad. O Baruch Shem Kevod, Ma'aku Tole Ola, Ma'aku Tole Ola, Ma'aku Tole Ola, O Baruch Shem Kevod, Ma'aku Tole Ola, Le'olam Wa'em. O Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Eloheinu, O Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahuwah Echad. O Baruch Shem Kevod, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Ma'aku Tole Olam, O Baruch Shem Kevod, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Le'olam Wa'ed. O Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, O Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahuwah Echad. O Baruch Shem Kevod, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Ma'aku Tole Olam, O Baruch Shem Kevod, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Le'olam Wa'ed. O Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, O Shema Yisrael. Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahuwah Echad. O Baruch Shem Kevod, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Ma'aku Tole Olam, O Baruch Shem Kevod, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Le'olam Wa'ed. O Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, O Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahuwah Echad. O Baruch Shem Kevod, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Ma'aku Tole Olam, O Baruch Shem Kevod, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Le'olam Wa'ev. O Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, O Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahuwah Echad. O Baruch Shem Kevod, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Ma'aku Tole Olam, O Baruch Shem Kevod, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Le'o. O Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, O Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahuwah Echad. O Baruch Shem Kevod, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Ma'aku Tole Olam, O Baruch Shem Kevod, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Le'olam Wa'ed. O Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, O Shema Yisrael. Yahuwah Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahuwah Echad. O Baruch Shem Kevod, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Ma'aku Tole Olam, O Baruch Shem Kevod, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Le'olam Wa'ed. O Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, O Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahuwah Echad. O Baruch Shem Kevod, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Ma'aku Tole Olam, O Baruch Shem Kevod, Ma'aku Tole Olam, Le'olam Wa'ed. 
O Shema Israel, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Eloheinu, O Shema Israel, Yahweh Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahweh Ekan. O Baruch Shem Kevod, Maaku Tole Olam, Maaku Tole Olam, Maaku Tole Olam, O Baruch Shem Kevod, Maaku Tole Olam Le. O Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Eloheinu, O Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahweh Ekan. O Baruch Shem Kevod, Maaku Tole Olam, Maaku Tole Olam, Maaku Tole Olam, O Baruch Shem Kevod, Maaku Tole Olam, Le Olam Wa'e. O Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Eloheinu, O Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Eloheinu. Yahweh Ekan, O Baruch Shem Kevod, Maaku Tole Olam, Maaku Tole Olam, Maaku Tole Olam, O Baruch Shem Kevod, Maaku Tole Olam Le Olam Wa'e. O Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Eloheinu. O Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahweh Ekan. O Baruch Shem Kevod, Maaku Tole Olam, Maaku Tole Olam, Maaku Tole Olam. O Baruch Shem Kevod, Maaku Tole Olam Le Olam Wa'e. O Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Eloheinu. O Shema Yisrael. Yahweh Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahweh Ekad. O Baruch Shem Kevod, Maaku Tole Olam, Maaku Tole Olam, Maaku Tole Olam. O Baruch Shem Kevod, Maaku Tole Olam Le Olam Wa'e. O Shema Yisrael. Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Eloheinu, O Shema Yisrael. Yahweh Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahweh Ekad. O Baruch Shem Kevod, Maaku Tole Olam, Maaku Tole Olam, Maaku Tole Olam, O Baruch Shem Kevod. Maaku tole olam le olam wa'e. O Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Eloheinu. O Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Yahweh Ekan. O Baruch Shem Kevod, Maaku tole olam, Maaku tole olam, Maaku tole olam. O Baruch Shem Kevod, Maaku tole olam le o. Hallelujah! 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 Praising even Yah Yisrael and even asking that all of our individual prayers and all of our collective prayers are even accepted in the highest courts of His glory. Thanking Yah Yisrael to even be able to be here during Kag Sukkot and to bring up even the goodly trees and the boughs of thick trees and the willows of the brook to even praise Yah Yisrael, even as He commanded us. Getting us back in tune with the earth, back in tune with ourselves, and back in tune with Kol B'nai Adam. Thanking Yah Yisrael for even this time. Even as we turn to singing HaTorah, found on page 12 in our prayer books, in getting to the most holy point of our, point of our uh, morning portion. So for those that have their phones on, if you could put those on silent at this time. We won't have much moving in and out of the room, so if you do need to leave for whatever reason, make sure it's during while we sing HaTorah. And we'll be closing the door while we even read the sacred words that Yah has left on record for today.
of the Torah can be found on page 13 in our prayer books as well as it'll be shared with you all briefly on the screen as well. Nikra et Mishret Natanyahu ben Lewi ben Yisrael Ani po Baruch Hashem Shel Yahuwah Baruch Yahuwah Yom Yom Baruch Yahuwah Tamid Uvaruch Abba Likra et Torah Hallelujah. All of our women, you all may be seated at this time. All of our men, please remain standing before Yah Yisrael, even at the recitation of the words of the Torah. The Hebrew reading for today being the last portion in HaTorah, Sot HaBaracha, found in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33, beginning at the 20th verse and concluding at the end of the Torah, at chapter 34, verse 12. Once again, the Hebrew reading can be found in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33, beginning at the 20th verse, and concluding at the end of the verse 30, uh, chapter 34, verse 12. Once again, that's Deuteronomy, chapter 33, beginning at the 20th verse. And it reads on this wise in Hebrew. Hallelujah. Ul Gad Amar Baruch Markiv Gad. Kelavi Shachin Wetaraf Zeroa Af Quad Kod. Wedyar Reshit Lo Ki Sham Kelquat Me Kokwek Safun Wa Yete Rashe Am Zidquat Yehoa Asa Umishpatau in Yisrael. Ul Dan Amar Dan Gur Arye. Yazanech mean Habashan. U Naphtali, Amar Naphtali, Sava Retson, Umale, Birkat Yehoa, Yam, Ved Darum, Yerasha. Hallelujah. I don't know if 
there he says, let us be we that enlarge it. Himself, for there a portion of a ruler was reserved, and there came the heads of the peoples. He executed the righteousness of Jehovah and his ordinances with Israel. And of Don, he said, Don is a lion's whelp that leapeth fr forth from Bashan. And of Naphtali, he said, O Naphtali, satisfied with favor and full with the blessing of Jehovah. Possess thou the sea of the south. Hallelujah. Mo demanak nu lak, sheatahu eloheinu, welohe abotenu, Avraham yitzkak, we ya akov le olam waed, Nikoret, Mishoret, Shimuel, Ben Lewi, Ben Yisrael. Baruch Yahuwah, yom yom. Baruch Yahuwah Tamid, Uvaruch Abba Likrayed a Torah. Mori Anilafaneka Yehoa Elohim, Asalanu Echazbo. Hallelujah. Mishraid Shimiwa will be reading for us verses 24 through 26. Ul Ashir Amar, Baruch, Mibanim Ashir Yu, Hihi, Razu, Ekao, Ue Tovil, Bashamen, Raglo, Barzil un koshet, min alekach, ukya meka, dav ekach, in ka il, yeshirun rokev, shamayim beez rekach, uv ga awato, shekwekin. Hallelujah. And of Asher he said, Blessed be Asher above sons, let him be the favorite of his brethren and let him dip his foot in oil. Iron and brass shall be thy bars, and as thy days, so shall thy strength be. There is none like unto Elohim, O Yeshurun, who rideth upon the heavens as thy help, and in the excellency on the skies. Hallelujah. Modi manak nulak, Sheatahu Eloheinu, Welohe Avotenu, Avraham Yitzkak, We Yaakov Leolam Waed, Nikra et Akir Miyahu Ben Naphtali Ben Yisrael. Baruch Yahuwah Yom Yom, Baruch Yahuwah Tamid, Uvaruch Abba Likraed Torah. Hallelujah. Akir Miyahu will be reading verses 27 through 29. Meona Elohe Chedem Umi Takat Oyishkun Yisrael, Oyishkun Yisrael, Betak Bagad, Ein Yaakov, El Eretz, Dagan, Iti Rosh Af Shemal, Ya'a Ya'arfu Tal. Asrecha Yisrael, Li Kamoka, Am Nosha, Ba Yehoah Magain, is recha wa am wa asher kere ga a wa techa wa yi ka wa yi ka ka su o veka lak wa ata al ba mo temo tid rok. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The eternal power is a dwelling place. And underneath are the everlasting arms. And he thrust out the enemies from before thee right. and said, Destroy. And Israel dwelt in safety, the fountain of Jacob alone, in a land of corn and wine. Mm. Yea, 
is heaven's drop-down dew. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, a people saved by Jehovah, the shield of thy help, and that is the sword of thy excellency, mm -hmm. and thine enemies shall dwindle away before thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. Hallelujah. Modi manak nulak, sheyatahu eloheinu, welohe avoteinu, Avraham Yitzkak, we ya akov le olam waed, nigraed akma asea ben moriyaya ben naftali ben Yisrael. Baruch Yahuwah yom yom, Baruch Yahuwah tamid, Uvaruch abalik raeda Torah. Hallelujah. Akma Asa will be reading, picking up from chapter 34, verses 1 through 3. We are all Moshe, Me'ero. Our vote, Moab, El, Har, Nebo, Rosh, Apiska, Ashir, Al, Hene, Yarehu, Yareku, Yareko, Yarehu, Yehoah, et Kal, Aeretz, et Agil Ad Ad Dan, we eight call Nitali Naftali, we eight Eret Ephraim, we need Nash, we need Nashi, we need Nashi, we eight call Eret Yehuda Ad Ayam Ad. I am Haakaron, we et Ani Nevi, A Negev, we et Akiar, Ikar, the Kwaat, Ikat, Iraku, Yereku, Ir, At Marin, Ad Zoar. Hallelujah. And Moses went up from the plains of Moab unto Mount Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, that is, over against Jericho. And Jehovah showed him all the land, even Gil Gilead as far as Don, and all Naphtali, and the land of Ephraim, and Manasseh, and all the land of Yehuda, as far as the hinder sea. In the south and the plain, even the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees, as far as Zoar. Hallelujah. Modi manat nulak, sheyatahu eloheinu, welohe avotenu, Avraham yitzkak, we yaakov leolam waed, nikraet akoda tara, bat rofe elazar ben lewi ben Yisrael. Baruch Yahuwah Yom Yom, Baruch Yahuwah Tamid, Uvaruch Abalik Ra'ir HaTorah. Modi'ani Yahuwah Eloheinu Asher Natanani Et HaTorah. Hallelujah. A code of Torah will be reading verses 4. Turn the main down. A code of Torah will be reading for us verses 4 through 6 in chapter 34. Wayomer Yahua Ela Zot Haeret Asher Nishbati Le Abraham Le Yiskak Hu Yako Le Mor Le Zar Atta Et Et Nena Hel Itika Ve Eneka Ve Shama Lota Avoy Wayamat Sham Moshe Ever Yahua Be Eret Moab Al Pi Yahua Wait word Oto Bagal the Eretz Moab Mul Beit Hero Velo Yadal Ish et Feburato Ad Hayom Hazo. Hallelujah. And Yehoah said unto him, This is the land which I swore unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, 
saying, I will give it unto thy seed. I have caused thee to see it with thine eyes, but thou shalt not go over thither. So Moses, the servant of Jehovah, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of Jehovah. And he was buried in the valley, in the land of Moab, over against Beit Peor. And no man knoweth of his sepulcher unto this day. Hallelujah. Modi manak nulak. Sheatahu Eloheinu, Welohe Avotenu, Avraham Yitzkak, We Yaakov Leolam Waed, Nikra et a coach Akira, Batlewi Ben Yisrael. Baruch Yahoa Yom Yom, Baruch Yahoa Tamid, Uvaruch Abalik Rayed Atora. Hallelujah. A coach here will be reading for us verses 7 through 9. Umoshe bain mea be esrim shana bemoto lo kahata e no velo nas lecho. Vayivku vene Israel et Moshe be'arvot Moav shaloshin yom vayitmu yemei veki evel Moshe. Vayhoshua benun me male ruach ha ruach chachma ki samach Moshe et yedau alau vayish meu. Elau bene Israel, waya asu kashir siwa yeho et Moshe. Hallelujah. And Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated. And the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab 30 days. So the days of weeping in the morning for Moses were ended. And Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him and did as Yehoah commanded Moses. Hallelujah. Modim anat nulak, she'atahu eloheinu, we'elohe avoteinu, Avraham Yitzchak, we'yaakov le'olam wa'ed. Nikra et hamaftira le yom ha shabbat haze zot habaracha. Nikra et geveret naima bat lewi ben Yisrael. Coming from us on Zoom. Ani po baruch Hashem shel Yehoah. Baruch Yahuwah Yom Yom, Baruch Yahuwah Tamid, Uvaruch Abalik Rayera Torah. Moda Ani Lefeneka Adonai Lehenu, Hunatan Lanu Et HaTorah. Hallelujah. Kaver Naima will be reading for us the last three verses of the Torah, verses 10 through 12. Willow Kwam Navi O Be Yisrael. Ki Moshe Ashir Yadao Yehoah Panim El Panim. Wait, Slika. Lakal Haotot We Hamof Team Ashir Shilako Yehoah. La Asot Beeret Mitraim. La Faro Ukal Avadao. Ukal Arzo. Ukal haya ha kwazaka uko hamo hamora hagado ashir asa moshe le ene kal yisrael hallelujah and there hath not arisen a prophet since like since in israel like unto moses whom Jehovah knew face to face and all the signs and the wonders which Jehovah sent him to do in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh and to 
all his servants and to all his land and in all the mighty hand and in all the great terror which Moses wrought in the sight of all Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. O Elohenu, Welohe Avotenu, Avraham Yitzchak, We Yaakov Leolamwayed. It's all yours, Gavir. Hey, Toda. Shabbat Shalom, Hakol. Shabbat Shalom, Lak. Okay, brothers may be seated. Giving all praises and glory to the Most High, our power. I'm so thankful for this day he has brought us to, even bringing us through Yom Kippur, his day of atonement, that we have a chance to just atone in one glorious name for, to him for forgiveness. And then bringing us through a feast that we had that was so great, so much to be thankful for. Um, there's never enough thanks that we can give unto the Most High. So with that, I'm going to get started. Um, Adon Yatniel, we're going to begin our portion in Joshua 1, 1 through 18. Adon Yatniel, if you would read verses 1 through 5 of Akusha. Now it came to pass after the death of Moses, the servant of Yehoah, that Yehoah spoke unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, and saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan thou, and all this people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel, every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, to you have I given it, as I spoke unto Moses from the wilderness, and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea, toward the going down of the sun, shall be your border. You shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so will I be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Okay, told on. You know, when I read this portion, reading it again and again, I know this is such a history lesson for all of us. But all I see is Yah's mercies here and his abundant uh, goodness to his chosen people. Um, we saw all the things, or Israel saw all the things that he did in Egypt when he brought them out, the Ten Commandments that did not touch us in our land. It did not bother us. Um, we had to see that there was so much, so much of Yah's goodness towards his chosen people. Um, we saw ourselves out come out of Israel, we were in devastation there. We went out into the wilderness and we saw his graciousness there. We saw the, the, that he stopped Egypt from attacking us in so many ways. We saw the Red Sea departed. We saw the divider that he put between us. For us to come out of uh, our day of atonement and asking Yah for his mercies, we see that he is so willing to give it to us all the time. Um, you know, yet and still Yisrael murmured and, and carried on out there after we saw so many things. We, we murmured against Moses. We built a golden calf in defiance of Yah. His mercies are enduring forever. We just need to see that and, and wake up. I wonder so many times that why we are called the children of Yisrael in the book of Judges so many times. Because like children, maybe we forget things and we need to be reminded. Um, we need to get past some of these things so that we can be his chosen people and be what Yah wants us to be. Um, Adon, if you would continue in verses six through nine. Be strong and of good courage, for thou shalt cause this people to inherit the land which I swore unto their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous to observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servants, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayst have good success whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy ways prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success have 
I not commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not affrighted, neither be thou dismayed. For Jehovah thy power is with thee whithersoever thou goest. So here we see Yah telling Joshua to be strong and of good courage, to be brave. Um, again, I go back to him calling us the children of Israel, because not only did he tell them to be strong and courageous to obey his laws and do his commandments in the face of anything. As we, we talk to each other today, we wear our ZTs. We're not afraid to wear them anymore or wonder why some people might question us or we know that why we wear them and be strong. But I wonder if also Yah was telling uh, Joshua to be strong and courageous because he knew how stubborn Israel could be and that they would test him and try him. And he had to stand strong in all of his convictions for the Most High to, to, to guide this people who may give him a lot of flack as they did with Moses. So we, we have to listen to our leaders. You know, it was said some time ago about everybody wants to be a chief. Well, we're not asking people to just be Indians and be followers, but if we have leadership in front of us that were put here by the Most High, we have to listen. And we have to, to do what they're asking us because their words are coming from the most high. So we don't want people to just be followers. We want you to be follower of things that are good, that you know that are right. So when you read your Bible and you read your history, you know what is right and what is good. So we're not just Indians, but we are chiefs and following the leadership that we have in front of us so that they can and we can remain strong and of good courage to do the things that Yah has asked us to do. Um, we had a couple of questions asked uh, last week, one being how to afflict our souls if you're used to fasting. And I just thought that was so well that we are trying to do the laws of, 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 of Yah to, to be what he wants us to be, to do what he wants us to do. Some of us are used to fasting. We've all fasted a day or two in our lives without it being Day of Atonement. Um, so we want to find out what we can do to make sure we are sort of afflicted. I just find that so positive that we are trying. You know, another question was asked about flipping the light switch versus using the microwave or a coffee pot. Um, all of this to me seems ways that we are trying to make sure that we are in compliance with Yah's laws. It, as was stated, we are not in our land and we can't do everything according to this book, but we're trying to do the most that we can to tell Yah that we are. We, we are very serious about coming back to you and being in compliance with your laws. So, you know, he says to Joshua again and again to be strong and of good courage. Um, I just think it was more than about just obeying the law, but to be strong in the face of Israel. Um, Provoca Shah Don. If you would go on to the next five verses, um, 10 through 15. 10 through 15, came. Then Joshua commanded the officers, the, pe the officers of the people, saying, Pass through the midst of the camp, and command the people, saying, Prepare you victuals, for within three days ye are to pass over this Jordan to go and to possess the land which Yehoah, your power, giveth you to possess it. <clears throat> and to the Reubenites, and to the Gadites, and to the half-tribe of Manashe, Joshua spoke Joshua, saying, Remember the word which Moses, the servant of Yehoah, commanded you, saying, Yehoah, your power, giveth you rest, and will give you this land, your wives, your little ones, and your cattle, shall abide in the land which Moses gave you beyond the Jordan, but ye shall pass over before your brethren armed, all the mighty men of valor, and shall help them until Jehovah have given your brethren rest as unto you. And they also have possessed the land which Jehovah your power giveth them. Then ye shall return to the land of your possession and possess it which Moses, the servant of Yehovah, gave you beyond the Jordan toward the sun rising. So, uh, so I read this and I just kind of remember something said by Corn Levy a long time ago, um, you know, to batten down your hatches in good time so that when 
the hard times come, you are prepared. And I think Yahweh is always telling us to prepare ourselves because things will head our way. But if we batten down our hatches, we can take care of that and we are prepared. We just stay strong. We have faith and we don't stray from this word by turning from the from the straight path. And we stay. We don't go to the right or to the left or make up our own reasonings for doing the things that we do. You know, we try not to do things on Shabbat, on our holy days that we don't have to do. Like we said, we have to travel to get there so that we can learn from one another and hear. But coming together as a congregation strengthens us and makes us stronger and more convicted to Yah's words, um, to be with your own and be not just leaning on your own devices or knowledge. Yeah, I'm not saying that we are not crazy or that we are crazy or not smart. We do have smartness and we need to trust in one another and and be there for one another and and uplift one another. So it is important to gather as a congregation and to learn this word and to do Yah's laws. Um, I, I, I wonder sometimes thinking about his mercies, as I said in, in the beginning, you know, what would, would our lives be like if we were just living in his abundance and not just his mercies? We need his mercies, don't get me wrong. But if we were not just messing up and doing wrong uh, and we were living, I know some of us feel like, yeah, we, we have God's uh, abundance love in our lives. I mean, I feel like we, are living good lives, but we wanna see how it is if we're not just being children and not just living in his mercies all the time, if you can understand what I'm saying. Um, um, so Adon Yatniel, if you would finish it out 16 through 18. And they, <clears throat> and they answered Joshua saying, all that thou has commanded us, we will do. And whithersoever thou sendest us, we will go. According as we hearken unto Moses in all things, so will we hearken unto thee. Only Jehovah thy power be with thee, as he was with Moses. Whosoever he be that shall rebel against thy commandment, and shall not hearken unto thy words in all that thou commandest him, right. he shall be put to death. Only be strong and of good courage. <laughs> Told uh, Cain. And there we still ended out with him telling Joshua to be strong and of good courage. Um, it would be so great if Yisrael would only do as, as Moses, as Slika, as Yah commanded us to do. Um, to listen to the leaders he has put before us. Um, Again, I referred to maybe that's why he called us the children of Israel so many times. Um, to tell Joshua four times, five times to be strong and of good courage meant more than just doing this law, I feel like just be strong and of good courage because this people has the ability to do God's commandments. We just have to do better at it and stop wanting everything else that everybody else has. We have what we have here for reasons, and we've had a great life. We can once again have that good life as long as we obey God's commandments and do what we will have to do. Um, again, I mentioned here that we are not followers of other nations, but we are followers of Yah's laws. Um, I pray that I've spoken and, and made some sense here today. It's real hard. This is more nervous than being there right now. Um, so Toda Yah for listening. Toda Yah for, for having me be this mob here today. It's always a great pleasure to, to speak Yah's words and, and be uh, in front of the congregation. So hallelujah. 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 Let's all give her a round of applause. Hallelujah. 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 Total Rabbi Gavirat once again for being the Maftira for today for that powerful portion that as we can see how that even lines up in the book of Joshua that today we'll be closing the book of the Torah in Sefer Devarim and then Joshua being the next part of the history that picks up in Joshua chapter 1 
and we are thankful for those lessons that she brought forth. Be strong and of good courage. The people are going to try you. They're going to try to make you get off the square that Yah desires for us to be on. So the Creator continually giving Joshua those reminders, and that's even why we come out to these gatherings as we are, this Mikra Kodesh, so that we can continue to build each other up with strength and good courage so that when we go out amongst the nations, we do not fall to their influence, but they turn to the influence that Yah has put upon us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, if we could all please stand, even as we once again sing HaTorah, only this time we will say Gor HaTorah, closing the book of the law till we get into later parts of our study. Ha Torah, Ha Torah, Segor Ha Torah, we El Mod Akshav. Whereby shall we? Return unto thee, for thy words to be fulfilled by thy law, by thy law, in our hearts. Closer to each other in the spirit of Shabbat shalom to all of our family that has just arrived here safely. We thank Yah for your safe arrival. Thanking Yah Yisrael for all of our family that's tuned in with us online. And even just thanking Yah Yisrael for life during the midst of this Kog Sukkot, this Shabbat, and all of the many blessings that Yah has in store for Kol Beit Yisrael. Even as we sing and praise His highest holy name with Baruch Hashem found on page 78 in our prayer books. Baruch Hashem, Shel Yahuwah. Baruch Hashem, Shel Yahuwah. Baruch Hashem, Shel Yahuwah. Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem. Shel Yahuwah. Blessed be the name of Yahuwah. Blessed be the name of Yahuwah. Blessed be the name of Yahuwah. Blessed be 
the name, blessed be the name of Yahuwah. Who no tain leke, who my im gah. Who no tain leke, who my im gah. Who no tain leke. He gives us bread and our water too. Yah gives us bread and our water too. He gives us bread and our water too. Gives us bread, Yahuwah gives us bread and our water too. Baruch Hashem, Shel Yahuwah. Baruch Hashem, Shel Yahuwah. Baruch Hashem, Shel Yahuwah. Baruch Hashem, Shel Yahuwah. When I wake up in the morning, I got to praise Yah's name. When I wake up in the morning, I teach my kids to do the same. Yahuwah is great, He's also great. I got to praise his name, I just can't wait. Yahuwah is king, Yahuwah is king of heaven and earth. Baruch Hashem, Shel Yahuwah. Baruch Hashem, Shel Yahuwah. There is no God like Yahuwah our King. There is no God like Yahuwah our King. There is no God, no, 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 like Yahuwah our King. There is no God, there is no God, like Yehovah our King. Baruch Hashem, Shel Yahuwah. Baruch Hashem, Shel Yahuwah. Baruch Hashem, Shel Yahuwah, Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem, Shel Yahuwah. Hallelujah. At this time, you all may please be seated. Even as we turn our hearts and our ears to even listen to the words of Proverbs chapter 8, which will be coming from one of our family members on Zoom, if we could all please welcome to lead us in the eighth proverb, Beshekwetya, uh, Akot Beshekwetya, hallelujah. Okay. All right, they're asking you to unmute. They're asking you to unmute. All 
Nakoda, are you there? Let's sit there. We will have our sister that's with us in the building, Akoda Hobai, and Shidmore Itamar. Lead us in Proverbs chapter 8. Hallelujah. <laughs> no, the family online wants to see you. And we'll pull it up on the screen for you as well. Shabbat Shalom, Lock. Giving all honor, glory, praises to the Most High. Hallelujah. He's deserving of it all. Amen. That's she, I got you. Eighth proverb. Amen. Doth not with the wisdom call and understanding put forth her voice. In the top of high places, by the way, where the path meets, she standeth. Besides the gates at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the door, she crieth aloud. Unto you, all men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. O ye thoughtless, understand prudence, and ye fools be of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall utter truth, and a wickedness, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing perverse or crooked in them. They are all plain to him that understandeth, and write to them that findeth knowledge. Receive my instruction and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all things desirable are not to be compared unto her. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and found out knowledge of devices. The fear of Jehovah is to hate evil. Pride and arrogancy and the evil way, and the froward mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. Power is mine. By me kings reign and princes decree justice. By me princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me earnestly shall find me. Riches and honor are with me, yea, enduring riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold and my produce than choice silver. I walk in the way of righteousness in the midst of paths of justice, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and that I may fill their treasuries. Jehovah made me as the beginning of his way, the first of his works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth, while as yet he has not made the earth nor the fields, nor the beginning of the dust of the world. When he established the heavens, I was there. When he set a circle upon the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when the fountains of the deep showed their might, when he gave to the sea his decree that the waters should not transgress his commandment, when he appointed the foundation of the earth, then I was by him as a nursling, and I was daily all delight, playing always before him, playing in his habitable earth, and my delights are with the sons of men. Now therefore, you children, hearken unto me, for happy are they that keep my ways, hear instruction, and be wise, and refuse it not. Happy is the man that hearkeneth unto me, hearkeneth to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and obtaineth favor of Jehovah. But he that misseth me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Giving all honor to, to the Most High, thanking him for safe travels. I was here, turned around, came right back because I said, Amen. <laughs> told I, oh, I did it for, for me, but definitely for the children. They need to see this. This is what we do. We don't do the Halloween. You want to get excited? Let's get excited about this. Amen. Let's get excited about Passover. And I think that's Yashimani's favorite. Just everything. I want them to feel the joy of, guess what? You know, when we were young, we couldn't wait. I'm getting a new outfit. Can't wait. <laughs> you know, we had to show out. What you wearing, can you? Oh, you wearing blue? Those things. Let's get excited about this time. And I, I want to show them that this is the best. There's nothing else out there. 
I mean, and it's hard when we have to send them to the schools and they have to do, what were you doing? You got a basket for Easter? Oh, wow, well, guess what? Did you see all those baskets? They was bomb. We love stuff like that, but I'm thankful. I miss you, E.T. I'm thanking for him, thanking the most high for him and um, thanking him that we had, y'all have this, that the children can come to and they can be excited about. All honor and glory to y'all, to the most high, and I thank him for blessing y'all. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, lak, hallelujah. Told our Rabbi, we thank our sister for leading us in Proverbs 8. We've been speaking of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and even the blessings and the thanks in which you gave. And thanking Yah Yisrael for times such as this. As she said, we have our own holy days. We don't need to get into their folly days. So the beauty of this season, let's enjoy it, because ain't nothing like a righteous party. A party that Yah commanded us to have. Thanking Yah Yisrael. At this time, could we all please stand? First and foremost, giving all honor and praise to Yehovah Elohim, creator and maker of heaven and earth. Thanking Yah Yisrael for the leader of this community, Saul Aharon. Thanking Yah for all the Kohanim, Morim, Shomrim, Mishar team, all the men, women, and children of this community and abroad. Hallelujah! 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 Yah Kai! Yah Kai! Yah Kai! And while we are all still standing, if we can all please welcome even our Kohen shaped me, our Bain Levy, to bring us with Zot Habaraka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom Likem. Giving all praise and honor to the Holy One of Israel. Uh, just thanking him for my life. At this time, we're going to separate the class. And then those of you who are going to stay, please be seated. Torah Rabbah. Yehoah Sifatai Tiftak Fiyagi Tihilatecha Yehoah Open down my lips and my mouth shall declare thy praise. Hallelujah. Hold my arm. Shabbat Shalom Lekem. I want to say Shabbat Shalom to our family that is online. Thanking you for tuning in today. You could have been anywhere else, but you chose to be with us. And for that, we say Torah Rabbah. Thank you very much. So today's portion is called Wezot Habracha. And this is the blessing. And this is the last portion, the last say there of our Torah cycle. Uh, we go through it, uh, said there or Sidra by Sidra. And so next week, y'all willing, we will be starting in the book of Genesis once again with Bereshit uh, after uh, Shemini Atzeret. This is how it lines up after the holy season, then we begin our Torah year again. So all praises to the Holy One of Israel for allowing us, most of us, to sit through a, a, a full Torah Torah year, a full cycle. So, blessed be Yah, always. So, at this time, we're going to go into our portion for today. As I said, the portion is called Wezot Bracha. This is the blessing. And this is the blessing that Moshe gave unto the tribes of Israel. Okay? Uh, we know that there's one tribe that's missing that he did not bless. And that was the tribe of Shimon, correct? And we have to realize that Moshe, in, you know, in, in, in understanding, uh, you know, people and things like that, he was blessing these tribes according to his experiences, you know, his experiences that he had with these tribes and what have you. And we all know that Shimon uh, did a terrible thing. They were the cause of the Baal Peor and what have you. And, and Moshe did not take, you know, he didn't take that too uh, uh, lightly. So... Perhaps, and we can assume and we can say that that's probably why he uh, didn't uh, bless them. Uh, but nevertheless, it doesn't take away the fact that Shimon uh, is uh, part of the tribes. He's still part of the tribes. We still have 12 tribes. Just because Moshe did not bless them, that doesn't mean that he is not part of the 12 tribes of Israel. That was just what Moshe was feeling at the time. And, uh, of course, we know that in Genesis, uh, their father, Yaakov, blesses them uh, each tribe, according to his experiences, at, from a father's point of view, from a father's perspective, and this is how he did. Now, before we go into it, 
now we're going to uh, read, because a lot of times we read these blessings and there are a lot of powerful words and things like that. And when you say you want to give someone a blessing, and we always have to be careful of our words. Words have power, correct? And so the words that Moshe is about to even uh, say unto the tribe, I'm sure that he thought about it before he even blessed them. Uh, there were certain things, as I said, characteristics. There was experiences that he had with these tribes. And so again, he had to be, be very, very careful in choosing his words. So before we go into the portion, I'd like us to just see this video, this quick video about the power of words. Bravakasha. I'm sure everyone knows by now that we are a video showing, quote showing community. Uh, we like to do these things and uh, just so that we can bring things up to date, you know, bring them uh, so that they may be relevant to us even in these days and times. So the power of words. says this is how powerful your words are be careful what you say your words mixed with your beliefs blend to become your reality what you speak over your life is what your life will become if you're always talking about how you're stuck where you are how you can't find a way to get out of the situation you're in how you never get any luck how you'll never be wealthy well you're right You'll never have those things if that's what you say and that's what you believe. If you don't believe it, you won't even try to get it. Instead of saying, I don't know how to do it, say, I am committed to learn how to do it. Instead of saying, I always procrastinate and never get anything done, say, I am going to find something that matters to me more than anything, and then I am going to get the job done. Instead of saying, I'm a failure, Say, I failed. I've learned the lesson, and when I become a huge success, that failure is going to make for one hell of a story. Instead of saying, my best days are behind me, say, my best is yet to come. Instead of believing others are born lucky or with special gifts, know that you are capable of anything. Know that you can study and commit to learning from great people. Know that you can become a great person in your own right. Every day, look yourself in the mirror and say, I am a great person. I am a kind person. I am strong. I am capable of anything. I am growing more each day. I am committed. I am determined. I have no limits. I can have the health and the body of my choice. I will have the health and the body of my choice. I can have the wealth of my choice. I will have the wealth of my choice. I do deserve abundance. I am worthy. I am more than worthy. I can make a huge difference in others' lives. I will make that difference. Gandhi once said, your beliefs become your thoughts. Your thoughts become your words. Your words become your actions. Your actions become your habits. Your habits become your values. Your values become your destiny. When you start blending your beliefs and your words together, they become so powerful you can move mountains. You are the creator of your destiny and it starts with the words you speak into your life. Speak positive things into your life, strong things. Speak love and happiness into your life and you'll notice more love and happiness. Speak good of others and you may see more good from others. Speak your dreams into existence. Believe your dreams will become reality. Act and live as though they are and they soon will be. Muhammad Ali said he would be the greatest and he became the greatest. He had no doubt in his mind. That is the same level of certainty you should speak about your dreams. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am wise. Opportunities are everywhere. Money flows with ease. 
Joy is everywhere. I am attracting such amazing people into my life. I am blessed. I am surrounded by blessings. I have more than enough. I am full of energy. I am strong. I am fit. I am such a positive influence to those around me. I have amazing friends. I am abundant. I am constantly growing my income. I am constantly growing myself. I am constantly getting healthier, stronger, and fitter. My relationships are getting stronger every day. More love and joy every day. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but your words can shatter your dreams. Your beliefs, thoughts, and words will, I guarantee you, determine your destiny. Whatever you believe is your limit, is your limit. Every day, look yourself in the mirror and say, I am a great person. I am a kind person. I am strong. I am capable of anything. I am growing more each day. I am committed. I am determined. I have no limits. I can have the health and the body of my choice. I will have the health and the body of my choice. I can have the wealth of my choice. I will have the wealth of my choice. Okay, that's good enough because he starts to repeat it again. But these are the things, as I said, that words have power. And so, you know, these affirmations are good. We started out having these uh, these talks about affirmations even when we started the book of uh, Nitzavim, the Sedi of Nitzavim, Mishari Netanyahu spoke before us. And so it's important that when we hear these words and what Moshe is going to even bless the children of Israel, words have power. And so you speak these things into people's lives, you know, and as I said, even though sometimes when people do things or say things as negative, you have the ability and you have the right to change that around. So even though Shimon did not get blessed by Moshe, that doesn't mean that Shimon will never rise. Shimon will just be a better tribe and he will do better than his uh, foreparents or his forefathers. And so again, I wanted to show you that to let you understand that words have power. Each time that we speak one to another, we have to be very, very careful what we say and how we say it because they have a, a, a lasting impression on each and every one of us. So without any further ado, let us get into our portion. We start in the book of Deuteronomy, the 33rd chapter, in the first verse, let us read on this wise. With Zot HaBraka, this is the blessing. Hallelujah. And this is the blessing wherewith Moses, the man of Elohim, blessed the children of Israel before his death. Now, many times we always say that Moshe did not have a title. And when you think about it, what we just read here is the greatest title that everyone should achieve to be, even the eyes of the Most High God. He said, Moshe, this is the blessing, wherewith Moshe, the man of Elohim, Ish Ha Elohim, each and every one of us, Ish Ha Elohim, that's the title that we should be going after. Not the princes and the Kohanim and the, all these things, but first we should be a man or a woman of Elohim. And so when you think about it, this was his title because he was a man of Elohim. He says, and he said, mm -hmm. Noah came from Sinai right. and rose from Seir unto them. Uh -huh. He shined forth from Mount Peran, mm -hmm. and he came from the myriads holy. Right. At and his, at, at his right hand was a fiery law unto them. Now, let's, let's stop there for a moment because you have to understand how this is being portrayed to us now. This, the Most High, Moshe is saying, Yehoah came from Sinai, right? He said, and rose from Seir unto them. So, of course, speaking metaphorically, think about when uh, Isaac was blessing Jacob. Remember when he came in and Esau thought he was going to get the blessing, but Yaakov was the one that received the blessing? So it's almost like the Most High, Moshe, is saying here that Yah, he rose from Seir because, you know, Seir was Edom's territory, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's almost like, he spiritually passed over Seir to get to us. The same way that the Most High God, you know, chose Yaakov for that great blessing instead of Esau or Seir. He spiritually passed over them, knowing full well that Seir or Edom was the firstborn, 
But that didn't matter to the Most High. He said, I passed over them spiritually so that I can get to my people. And it's almost like he rose or he, he dawned over the nation of Israel to raise them up. You know how people say, you know, in the obituary, they say sunrise to sunset. And when you look at it, the Most High is saying that at sunrise, this is when my people uh, became a nation or a people before me. He said, because look, he said, he came from the myriads holy. Jehovah came from Sinai, he rose from Seir unto them. It was almost like he was, you know, at the dawn, the dawn of a new day, the dawn of a new people that is rising up. He says further. Yea, he loved the people, mm -hmm. all of his holy ones. Mm -hmm. They are in thy hand, Amen. and they sit down at thy feet, mm -hmm. receiving thy words. Moses commanded us a law, an mm -hmm. inheritance of the congregation of Jacob. You know, when I th thought about this fiery law he talks about, you know, he said, and at his right hand was a fiery law unto them. Now, many times when you think about those who did not, who wasn't born in this way of life, and I'm speaking to them mostly, those who weren't born in this way of life, what was it like? What was it like when you were first introduced to the name of the creator? What was it like when you were first introduced to the Torah? What did that make you feel? How did it make you feel? What were you thinking? Was your heart, you know, as it say, a fiery law? So did it transfer to a fiery spirit or a fiery heart for you to say, this is the road that I'm going to take? Just think about it for a moment. Because at some point in time, especially those in this room online, someone, especially if you weren't born this way of life, someone brought you this understanding of the most high. So how did that make you feel? How did it make you, you know, say like, I'm going to stick with this and I'm going to follow after the most high. It had to be the spirituality that Yah placed on you and it had to be the spirit of Yah for you to say, this is what I need. Just think about that for a moment. A fiery law he gave to us. Even in these days and times, Yah still gives us this law, and it should make us wise and an understanding people all the days of our lives. He said, And there was a king in Yeshurun mm -hmm. when the heads of the people were gathered, right? all the tribes of Yisrael together. Mm -hmm. Let Reuben live. Now he starts to go and now blesses these tribes, right? He starts with Reuben. Reuben was the firstborn, correct? He says further, let Reuben live. Let Reuben live mm -hmm. and not die. Uh huh. And that his men become few. Now, why did he say that about Reuben? Remember, Reuben chose his land on the east side of the Jordan, right? Mm -hmm. Him along with two other tribes, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Reuben, Gad, and half of the tribe of Manasseh. Mm -hmm. And so they could have easily been attacked by any other enemies that we had on that side of the Jordan. So he said, you know, let his, you know, let, let, let Reuben live and not die. And also too, going back to what he did to his father, mm -hmm. because his father told him that he was, you know, unstable, right? Mm -hmm. You know, unstable as water, you know? So now Moshe is saying basically like, listen, if there's anything that can be done with this tribe, just let them live. You know, let him uh, be able to overcome what he did in ancient days to his father's wife, right? Let him be able to overcome his mistakes. And that's what we all are trying to do. See? And even though, as I said, Yaakov knew his sons, but the Most High God in reality is the true judge. So even though a man may place upon you a blessing or a curse, because some people can curse you thinking that, you know, I'm going to curse you, but it, only the Most High can do either or. So it really doesn't matter. It matters if you change your ways and if you represent the creator the right way, the way you're supposed to do. No matter what your father did, no matter what your, your mother did, you have the ability to change and to make even a greater, greater uh, inspiration and encouragement for those that are coming in the future. That's what it's all about. He says further. And this for you. <clears throat> no, you don't mess up on your tribe, brother. And this for Yehuda. Mm -hmm. And he said, Hear, O Yah, the voice of Yehuda, uh -huh. and bring him in unto his people. Mm -hmm. His hands shall contend for him, right? and thou shalt be a help against his adversary. Yehuda, this was the man or the tribe that the Most High God caused him to be the leader, right? 
He said Judah is going to go up first. Anytime that we had a war, he would be the one that would even lead us to battle. Correct? So that's why the creator said, like, hey, Judah, Jehovah, hear the voice of Yehuda because many times he's in that, you know, that, that, that war mode. And so you have to hear the prayers of Yehuda so that when he goes out to battle, the Most High God will hear his prayer and that he can win his battles and what have you. Now, I'm not trying to soup them up or big them up like that, but that's the reality of these Judites. They led, they led the armies. They went up first, he said. And I mind you, one more thing I want to add to this. We talked about a fiery law that was given to us. Make no mistakes about it. There was no religion that was given to us. There was no uh, 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 other ideology or any other confusion given to this great nation of Israel. A fiery law, the Torah, a Torah, a, a, a book that makes sense, rules and regulations that make sense. Even to this day, we follow these rules and regulations that help us to stay aligned with the purpose of the Holy One of Israel. No religion. Because religion, when you think about it, just as it was said earlier, religion teaches you to sacrifice the dead. Mm. Halloween, that's what it's all about. Mm. Worshiping the dead. Everything is dark and gloomy and dead and scary and what have you. We don't, we're not a people that's supposed to be doing that. We're supposed to be enjoying life. We're supposed to be promoting life and good things. Not all of these things that they portray out there. And I, I agree with the sister. She said, let our children understand that, listen, we have a heritage too. We have something that we can offer. Yah gave us something. And our days should count. Just like when uh, Passover, all of these days, we should be coming out here. And I'm glad that we've had the days that we've come out to enjoy. Because guess what? In a few weeks, you're going to see kids. And their parents walking around trick-or-treating and all these things. So we have to teach our children and we have to show them that there is something better for us. There is something better for them. It says. And of Levi he said. Mm -hmm. Thy to me may I urim be with thy holy one. Mm -hmm. Whom thou didst prove at Massa. Right. With whom thou didst strive at the waters of Mirabah. Uh -huh. Who said of his father and of his mother. I have not seen him. Neither did he acknowledge his brethren, nor knew he his own children. Mm -hmm. For they have observed thy word and keep thy covenant. Mm -hmm. Now, some, uh, some sheet, finish they it. shall teach Jacob thine ordinances and Israel thy law. Mm -hmm. They shall put incense before thee mm -hmm. and hold burnt offerings upon thine altar. Some sheet. Bless, Bless Jehovah his substance right. and accept the work of his hands. Mm -hmm. Smite through the loins of them that rise up against him and of them that hate him that they rise not again. Now, he said this of Levi because Levi, he actually became the Kohanim, the priest uh, in the nation of Israel. And he said, who said of his father and his mother, I have not seen him. And they're talking about, you know, this incident at... Uh, you know, Masai Meribah, because they were charged, believe it or not, to go and kill some of the people that were uh, doing, you know, whatever they wanted at the, uh, Mount, the, uh, the Mount Sinai. I'm sorry, Mount Sinai, but the golden calf incident. Mm -hmm. Remember the golden calf incident? Moshe told him, he said, listen, whoever's on Jehovah's side, smite through, you know, and go and smite through. And this is what they say. And they couldn't not say like, well, my brother might be part of it. My mother, they had to have the say they had to have the um the understanding to say, Yehovah is, is my God and my king. I'm for Yehovah. They didn't care who was in the way. If you were doing something you weren't supposed to be doing, that's it. He said, that's why he said, he said, I have not seen him. Who said of his father and his mother? I've not seen him. Did he acknowledge his brethren? He didn't care because all that was on his mind was the most high. That's the tribe of Lewi. Of Benjamin, he said, mm -hmm. the beloved of Jehovah shall dwell in safety by right. him. Mm -hmm. He covereth him all the day, and he dwelleth between his shoulders. And I also want to point out that, you know, this is the time, you know, not only this particular Sidra, but the Sidra in Genesis, when we talk about why he, this is the time when those that are new amongst us and those that are online that do not have a tribe, we don't pressure you to take a tribe, but this is a time where you can kind of 
see what is being said about that particular tribe. And that's when people now start to say, you know what, I think my father was a Judite or my father was a Levite. Because, you know, you can go back, let's say, for Levites. You know, if you had uh, ministers or, or, or reverends, you had an uncle or grandfather that was a reverend or, or a preacher or what have you, then you can pretty much tell, like, okay, yeah, that's, that's the line of levy right there. You know, a person who uh, 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 loves their wine, you know, just as Yaakov talked about Yehuda. You know, his, his eyes are white like milk and his, you know what he said, his, his eyes are red, you know, like wine and, you know, his teeth are uh, white like milk. That was your Judaism because they love to have the, the wine and the vineyard and what have you. And so even beyond that, even a spiritual, you know, understanding of these tribes, you can tell like, OK, I think that, you know, I think that that's my father and that was my mother or what have you. And you can kind of piece it together. And that's how people choose their tribes. He says, and of Yosef, he said, mm -hmm. blessed of your whole be his land mm -hmm. for the precious things of heaven. For the dew, mm -hmm. and for the deep that coucheth beneath, uh -huh. and, and for, for the, the precious, precious things. things of the fruits of the sun, mm -hmm. and for the precious things of the yield of the moon, mm -hmm. and for the tops of the ancient mountains, and for the precious things of the everlasting hills, mm -hmm. and, for and for the, the precious, precious things, things of, of the earth. earth, and the fullness thereof, right? and, and the good the good will of him that dwelleth in the bush. Mm -hmm. Let the blessing come upon the head of Yosef. Right. And upon the crown of the head of him that is prince among his brethren. Now, why do you think that Moshe spent a lot of time blessing this tribe of Yosef? Why do you think? Yeah. Hmm? Because he provided. Because he what? He provided for his brethren and his families. Mm -hmm. During the time of uh, Egypt, right? In mm -hmm. Egypt, right? Yeah. And so how did Moshe know that? Just to let you know that things were passed down, right? Mm -hmm. There was uh, understanding and there were written records and what have you to show. And you taught your children, right? Le door to door, generation to generation about this man, Yosef. Just as we know about Rabbi Matthews, just like we know about Rabbi Ford. It's the same concept and understanding. Our children should know about these people, Malcolm X, all of these great men and women that served a purpose because they worked for the most high God. They served, even though a lot of them did not call upon the name of Yah, but they still was working on the behalf of Yah, believe it or not. And so again, Moshe understood like, oh yeah, he was the one that allowed our family to survive in Egypt during a famine. So he had to talk about him and he had to write about him and say, bless this tribe of Yosef, he says. His firstling bullock, mm -hmm. majesty, majesty is his, is right. and his horns mm -hmm. are the horns of the wild mm -hmm. ox. With them he shall gore the people, mm -hmm. all of them, even the ends of the earth. Mm -hmm. And they are the ten thousands of Ephraim, right. and, and they, they are, are the, the thousands, thousands of Manasseh. And we see here the double portion that Yosef received, remember? Mm -hmm. uh, Manasseh and Ephraim being his sons. When he was in Egypt, he was given a wife, and these were the sons that were born unto him in Egypt. So this is the double portion of Yosef, Nachnashi and Ephraim. He says further. And of Zuvulun, he said. Mm -hmm. Rejoice, Zuvulun, in thy going out. Right. And Yosaskar, in thy tent. Now, we know that uh, Zuvulun, they know that he was known as a, a sailor. He loved the boats. You understand? He loved to go out on the waters and things like that. Yosaskar, he was that kind of homely brother but he took care of business he was able to cook he planted he was a farmer big big brother you know all of the Yasaskarites that I've known all my life you know they were always big and always doing things and you know always into things that are positive now what I did was I got a few videos from just a few people I couldn't get them all because uh, I was just not I wasn't able to reach a lot of people but let's take for example uh, Zevulun all right Let's, let's see what this brother says about why his father chose the tribe of Zevulun. We can show that one. Okay, that's Prince Nat. Can you turn it up tonight?
Salam alaikum. So, uh, first of all, I want to give all honor and praise to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the great man and revered one, the most high, the maker, owner, and possessor of all things and everything. Secondly, I'd like to give due respect to my father, Hanasi Sipor Ben Zavolu. Um, so, the reason why my father chose the tribe of Zebulon, well, I got to put a disclaimer out there first and be real practical in the whole situation. And the disclaimer is, is that most of the northern tribes actually went into captivity north, opposed to going into going south into uh, certain parts of Africa. So most likely, the people who were victimized by the transatlantic slave trade were people who were of the tribes of Levi, Judah, Benjamin, and Simeon. So with that being said, I'll tell you why my father chose the tribe of Zebulon. One of the reasons that he chose the tribe of Zebulon <laughs> is because uh, he said that a lot of his family were um, Navy guys and they were on boats and they were on those Navy destroyers and, and things of that nature. So he always felt drawn to uh, that kind of uh, life. And um, that's one of the reasons that actually drew him to the tribe of Zebulon. Notice I got my Zebulon post up there. Um, but um, he had a little funny story that he used to tell us. He used to tell us when we was young that he swam from Coney Island to Jersey. I don't know how, how true that is, but I do know that um, he had something that actually drew him to the tribe of Zebulon. So, um, you know, that's in a nutshell, and that's one of the reasons why he chose the tribe of Zebulon, along with the fact that when it was come, came time to go to war, uh, the tribe of Zebulon, it is mentioned in the book that they showed up and they were not double hearted. So they were committed and they stayed within the camp of Judah during the time we was in the wilderness around the, um, around the tent of meeting. So uh, with that being said, that's about the size of it. I bid you all in the tongue of our ancient forefathers. Shalom Aleichem. Yeah, okay. So, so again, you find that many brothers Many of the men that I've known uh, all my life, they chose these tribes for whatever reason. And, you know, they have different stories behind it. It wasn't just like, oh, I'm Zavulam, but it was certain things that, that they went through, experiences that caused them to say that I am from this tribe or I'm from that tribe. He said that Yasaskar in thy tent, right? Um, and then he says further about uh, Yasaskar and Zavulam. <coughs> They shall call peoples unto the mountain. Uh -huh. There shall they offer sacrifices of righteousness. Mm -hmm. For they shall suck the abundance of the seas mm -hmm. and the hidden treasures of the sand. Okay, let's stop there because now we have another brother who is a Yasaskarite who's going to give his story of why he chose the tribe of Yasaskar. I come before you today, first and foremost, giving all thanks, all praise, all glory to the creator of heaven and earth, the most high God, the whores of all. And I come to you at the request of my brother, Cohen Shape Me Up. Ben Hakon Levy, Ben Israel, and he was a, gave me a question about um, why did I choose the tribe of Yasaska? I like the first off saying that um, when I first learned about Israel. I was not born in this way, but when I first learned about it, I I didn't I didn't come in looking for a tribe. I was just I was a teenager. I wanted to change my first name. I wanted to change the 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 name, the American name. I, was, I wanted a Hebrew name. Let's, let's say that. I wanted a Hebrew name. So, 
I went through the book as I read, I read, and I read. I mean, and back then I was I was a, a reader, so, and I just seen the name Jeriel. And Jeriel, it just hit me. Wow, I want that name. So, I um, I looked up and I again. I wasn't born this way. I knew nothing about Hebrew. So I didn't know it was no J's in Hebrew. So Jerry L was, so I looked it up and it said the foundation of God or God is my foundation. So I said, yeah, that's solid. I can stick with that. Okay, so as time went on, I went to the Air Force, I was like 19, and I was like, okay, look, let's look more into your name. So I found out that Yeriel was of the tribe of Yasaska. So then I looked up the tribe of Yasaska, and I seen that, you know, they were a burden bearer, you know, they had a... Um, the understanding of the other tribe, you know, I was an understanding person of people. And there was a lot of things that just stuck out that that mirrored me. So I said, wow, okay. So therefore, that's when the tribal part came in. And, you know, and as I came back from Texas to Brooklyn, as soon as I told the, the, the brothers and everybody my name, oh, you are your South Square, right? And I was like, it just, it just banged in there. It just, I mean, the most high is great. All things and everything come from the creative heaven and earth. So that's pretty much my story. It was, you know, it was, it was just through the creator that, that I, I found that way and you know from my teen years to today I tried to to live up to my Yasaska right ways and put my works in and my works are much better than my words so I'll leave you with few words and may the most high bless you and me and blessed be his, his name. Hallelujah. Amen. So again, you see another brother who chose the tribe of Yasaskar. And his stories is just somewhat interesting, you know. Um, I had uh, some others, but I, they just couldn't get on because of, uh, you know, they, they just didn't know how to work the, uh, the technical part of it. But um, there was so many others I hope to share with you. Uh, one day, but again, we see that the Most High has blessed some of these uh, men and women. Now, going back to Lewi, and I want to, I'm going down, you know, memory lane now, because I want to talk about how, or what it was for me to grow up and see men uh, who took on, let's say, the tribe of Lewi. If we can just show that picture. I mean, I can't think of anyone else other than these two men right here. And I chose this p particular picture because I wanted you to see how young they were. And even up until uh, the Kornim. This is the old picture I showed you. No. Call Mikael. All right, we'll keep going. All right, Tumshi. You had it in your slide. At verse 20. Mm -hmm. And of Gad, he said, Blessed be he that enlargeth Gad. Mm -hmm. He dwelleth as a lion mm -hmm. and turneth the arm, yea, 
the crown of the head. Right. And he chose a first part for himself. Mm -hmm. For there a portion of a ruler was reserved, and there came the heads of the people. He executed the righteousness of Yehoah and his ordinances with Yisrael. Again, God, another tribe who chose even a first part for himself. He was along with Reuben and half the tribe of Menashe. They also were the ones that were on the east side of the Jordan who protected that land and had that land reserved for them. This is what he is saying here, that uh, Gad was the one that chose a first part for himself and also that he became a leader as well because all of these tribes, believe it or not, they were leaders. And I want to add that they were warriors. These men were warriors. We talk about one particular tribe being a warrior, but when you think about it, all of these tribes, Reuben, all the way down to right. Benjamin, they were warriors. Mm -hmm. You could not come into that tent of meeting thinking that, oh, uh, we're going to attack the rear because they did not. Dan gave you the business too. Mm -hmm. No matter which side you came from, they gave you the business. He says first. And of Don, he said, mm -hmm. Don is a lion's whelp that leapeth from leap, leapeth forth from, from Bashan. Bashan. Right, some sheep. And of Naphtali, he said, O Naphtali, mm -hmm. satisfied with favor and full with the blessing of Jehovah, mm -hmm. possess thou the sea and the south. Now, all of these men, now especially Naphtali, now, from what I understand, he was the person or the tribe. That, you know, when uh, Yaakov blessed him, he said he's a hind let loose, you know. He can give goodly words, you understand? And he was that type that had that swagger, you know. And again, when you think about, when I think about this particular portion, and I think about all the men that chose these different tribes, they actually lived up to these particular words. That's why I say words have power. Because when I think about Moray Mishael, y'all bless his memory. He was a person that he can give goodly words every time he was mopped here and he would speak to the people and he would talk. And I mean, and he had this way about him, the way he walked, the way he would never, you know, we, we'd be in service. He was the only one. And I never could understand why he would be the only one. Everybody's clapping, clapping, you know, to the drums and singing. He would be the only one just bopping his head. He would hit his thigh or whatever, you know, that's how, that was his way of clapping. And I said, wow, he's that cool that he just, you know, has a different style of clapping. You know what I'm saying? But the dressing, I mean, and then he could dress. I mean, just so many things that, you know, when I think about these tribes and these men that, that, that I grew up listening to and, and, and watching and seeing, it's unbelievable how they, a lot of them just, you know, lived up to a lot of these things that the Most High left on record. Mo Moray, do we have, do Moray? Do we have any other pictures to show? Okay. All right. Let's show the picture of uh, going back to. Not that one. Not that one. The one underneath. That one. You can't see it. It's a very old picture. But um, of course, you know who that is, right? That's Cohen Mikael and his Cohen Mikael, Cohen Levy, and this person right here at the front, you can't really see him, but that's Nasser Sarvel, him right there. But normally, in their younger days, you know, that was Levy, and uh, these were the men that I grew up listening to and, you know, and following after them and what have you. And they took on the tribe of Levi, and also uh, Nasi Tavel, he took on the tribe of Yehuda. And uh, we're going to show another picture of him because, again, all I can say is when I grew up, these were the men that they took on these tribes. Seriously, look at that buckle. We always used to, that, that, we used to be scared of that belt that he had on. Nasi Tavel, you see that belt he had on? I mean, when he put it on, it was like royalty, you know? It was, they walked around like they were royal men, and that's the way we were supposed to walk with kings and queens. And when he, that thing right there, that, that belt and he put it on I mean he had a way of putting it on and, and then he sat it on the side and you would just you wouldn't even touch it you just marveled at it and you just looked at it you understand these are the types of men he was a Judite one of our prince once he was the only prince in the camp at that time but he was I'm telling you a person a man that did great things for the nation of Israel during that particular time um, I want to show you another picture 
of the Shimonite, even though the, the tribe of Shimon, oh, wait, let's, I think, <laughs> so as I was telling you about Mori Mishael, these are his, his younger days. Mori Mishael, and this is um, Akiyam Yahu's Abba on the left hand side, Seren Yashadai. But these men, they were the Naphtalites in the camp back then. You know, the children, those are, uh, those are, <laughs> you want to come up here? <laughs> the children, no children, those were more Mishael's children. I think that was uh, Eliyahu and perhaps even Kata, or, or uh, I believe it was Eliyahu and Kata. But um, these were the Naphtalites, you know, and they walked around like they was some bad stuff, man. I'm telling you. I mean, you, you know, I, I, I hate. You, you you just had to be there. You just had to be there. You know, Imatali, you know, Kenya, y'all know. These men put on these hats. They had a certain way that they wore their hats. They keep out, you know. Sir Yashida had on a coat that, I mean, you thought that that was his baguette, you know. But then when he take off the coat, you're like, oh, wow, he got another garment under there, you know. Mori Mishael, I mean, all of these things, when I tell you it was just one fascinating time to be living in, man. And again, that picture was taken in front of the temple on Belmont Avenue. Uh, when you came on Belmont Avenue, you knew that you were coming up on a place of worship. And so again, these were the men that I know grew, growing up. Let's read on, he said. And of Asher, he said, mm -hmm. blessed be Asher above sons. Mm -hmm. Let him be the favorite of his brethren. Right. And let him dip his foot in oil. Mm -hmm. Iron and brass shall, shall be thy bars. bars. That's right. And as thy days, so, so shall, shall thy strength. strength be. And we had an Asherite in the temple, Don Yosef ben Asher. He dealt with iron and brass. Uh, he made jewelry. Uh, just about everyone in the whole temple had something from Don Yosef ben Asher. Even to this day, they, people can pull out, oh, this was a Don Yosef ben Asher, he made this, you know. I have a ring that my father left for me. Uh, it's his Korn Haggadol ring with the stone of Judah and Levi in the, in the middle of it. Don Yosef ben Asher uh, made that ring. So all these things, they are, are very priceless nowadays because it was because we, someone in our own family made it. That's what made it priceless. You know, that's what that's what made it have some kind of value to it, because you had people in our midst that made these things. The vessels or Don Yosef and Ashir would make the candlestick, the plates and the incense ho uh, 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 holder and all these things. When I tell you, boy, it was a beautiful time in those days, I'll tell you. And I pray that the Most High will continue to bless all the works of those that are coming up even after, even uh, Maurice Shimuel making jewelry. And you have people now, these are the types of things that we should not forget, that we have to now, you know, learn how to, you know, uh, uh, make jewelry and things like that. Because that's how we're going to be a nation on, on top of running things and being doctors and lawyers. We still have people that, you know, have the jewelry and the making and all these things. This is the blessing, as I said, we start out with Zod HaBraka. This is the blessing that Yah gave us, the talent that Yah gave most of these tribes. I want to show that picture of the Shimonite. He wasn't mentioned in here. Moshe didn't mention him, but I like to mention him because this is a man that I uh, love. I love all of these brothers, and he's one of them uh, right there. I'm in a picture with him. I couldn't find anything when he by himself, but this is uh, my favorite Shimonite, Seren Yaakov Ben Shimon. Um, Y'all continue to bless and heal him. Um, when I tell you he was the general of the army, and he um, he lived up to his name. <laughs> he lived up to his name. When I tell you, and 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 the brothers were they were like oil, you know, well oiled machines. You know, they served in one area, but they could do this, they could do that. They would read the Torah. They would come up and do this, and and then like I said, the garments that they had, they had garments for the Shomrim. They had garments for the Levites. They had garments for the priests. I mean. Everybody had, a, and then, you know, the, the, then they had special hats that they wore. If you was a Saturn, Saturn you had a, a particular hat that you wore. Don't be caught wearing, you know, a uh, Saturn Natana or Saturn Yashida's hat because you weren't a Saturn. So, you know, they had different things, and that's what, the way it was. The nation at that time was just, it was building, and I can't tell you how many children were born during that time. So many children. 
And then now, a lot of us are a product of what happened in those days. And so I thank the Creator for all of these men. Uh, I wanted to talk about Yosef Yohanatan ben Ray Ubeng. You know, he, um, the father of uh, Coke Gisha. He left me something. I, I wasn't able to read it, but I would really wanted him to be online so that he can say, you know, why he chose the tribe of, of Reuben. I spoke to Iman Naami, why she chose the tribe of Levi. So many things that we have to be thankful for. And this is the legacy that they're leaving. Just as we're ending out this book, Moshe is leaving a legacy himself, you know. So let's end it out. A 20, do I have any more? 26. What do I have? I'm sorry. Okay, okay, this is an older picture now, right. They used to call them lightning and what? Lightning and, and thunder. thunder. Lightning and thunder. It didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> really? It didn't matter really? because uh, you got you got both out of out of out of all of them. So so told out y'all for these men, may y'all bless the memory of my father, Don Corn Levy, Ben Israel for all of his works. All that you see here, all that we read out of the Sador, the songs that we sing, was because the Most High touched the spirit of my father, Cohen Levy, to write songs. And believe it or not, <clears throat> you know, when I talked to him as I got older, he would tell me different things on why he wrote this song or why he wrote that particular song. So there's meaning and there's a story behind each song. It wasn't like he just sat down, you know, like these musicians now. They be like, you know, you know, they get high first and then they start, you know, I was with my mama. No, it wasn't like this was a spiritual high because that's how they do it nowadays. Am I right? I'm, you know, I'm not lying. They have to be able to get high off of these drugs and narcotics and all these things for them to write a song that really is, you know, don't make no sense. But then, of course, because you were high, now I understand why the song don't make sense. You understand? I was working at this, and then, you know, all this stuff. He can't hold himself up because he's high, you know? But these men, I remember, and I'll share this story with you. He said, my father said, when he wrote, what's my name? He said he was on a train one night, and I don't know if you remember, maybe Sar knows and some of you, when you take that A train coming from Far Rockaway over the water, yeah. that's a scary, not, I never mind, you lived in Far Rock, right? Mm -hmm. So when you take that A train over the water, mm -hmm. and let's say if it was just like a, a you know, a, not a sunny day, but you know, just, you know, windy and, you know, uh, overcast, you understand? It's scary on that train. And so he said he sat there and he said he looked out the window and he started thinking about the nation of Israel, our people. And then that's when he started writing, I have roamed this world all over. I've been immersed. While he's looking at the water, out the, you know, on the train, and he just started writing. So that's the songs that you're singing now is a spiritual high because he was thinking about the nation and the condition of the people that, were, that they were in at that time, at that moment. Not all of these. That's why God said, he said, I will, he said, I will give you a new song to sing songs of deliverance these songs that our children that we're listening to those are not songs of deliverance those are songs that make you go back mm -hmm. those are songs that make you go back into your you know nonsense and things like that these are not songs they will not deliver you out of the hand and out of the trouble that Yah has put you in how is the baby going to get me out and sing a song to me to get me out of my situation wearing a diaper yeah, the baby. I saw him one day on a video. He's actually wearing a diaper. Yeah, I saw it. And somebody said, oh, yeah, that's the baby. And it was like nothing. I was like, what does that man have on a diaper for? Oh, you don't know? That's the baby. So that was his, like, you know, his, yeah. uh, uh, what do you call it? His prop. His, his gimmick, whatever, prop, whatever you, it don't, really? You don't see us wearing diapers out here, and we giving praise to the most high. Come on now. Listen, we have to really, really be thankful for what Yah has placed in our midst once again. But let's read on. Let's finish it out. There is none like unto Elohim, O Yeshua. There is none like unto you. Who rideth upon the heavens as thy help. 
and in his excellency on the skies. Uh -huh. The eternal power. The eternal Elohim is, is a, a dwelling, dwelling place. And don't you forget it, Israel, he and, said. And underneath are the everlasting Who arms. are the everlasting arms? House of Israel. Come on now, let me hear you say it. Who are the everlasting arms? We are. Israel, he said further, and, and he thrust out the enemy from before thee, and said what? Destroy. You know, we 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 don't teach hate here, okay? We don't. But you gotta understand that the Most High, he has enemies, you know, and we have enemies because they have done things to us that the Most High God is going to pay them back for the things that they've done to us. I'm not saying to go out there and, you know, do this and do that, you know, but, you know, but the sad part about it is when you really think about it, the enemy now looks like you and I. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're our own worst, worst enemy. enemy. You talk about Black Lives Matter, mm. but then, you know, you want to march and you want to protest when a European kills a black man but where are the marches and where are the protests when we kill each other? You don't hear nothing about Black Lives Matter when we kill each other. What do we hear? What do we say? Snitches. Stitches get Snitches. stitches or whatever you want to call it. Get stitches. Why is that not, is, is something wrong with that? Tell me. Yeah. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm out of pocket right now. Why is it? That, you know, we only concern when somebody else does something to us, but we're not concerned when we do it to each other. That just shows you and that just proves that hatred is still amongst our people. Mm -hmm. And we don't and we don't care what we do to each other. Mm -hmm. We don't care. Black Lives Matter? No, it only matters when somebody else. But when, but when I tell you, I'm going to get that sister, I'm going to get that brother. And I'm going to do everything. That, where's Black, Black Lives Matter? I don't want to hear that. We have to start now, as, the, as it says, there is none like unto God, O Yeshurun. Yeshurun was a poetic name for mm -hmm. Israel, which means darling upright, the mm -hmm. upright one. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be upright, right? From the word Yashar, right? Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be upright. We're supposed to be the ones that say, well, who killed that brother? I can tell you who killed him. I saw him. He was standing on the corner. And no reason, he pulled out a knife and he stabbed him. And if you don't believe me, I had another brother. He was watching. He was right there with me. I'm not listening. We need to get people like you off the streets. You're not supposed to be roaming the streets just because I'm supposed to hold it in. Your life is not going to be, my life is not going to be in danger if I turn you in. Guess what? Everybody else will sleep peacefully at night know that, knowing that you've been captured. Mm. Now, black lives matter. Mm. And Israel dwelleth in safety. Mm -hmm. the, the fountain of Jacob alone mm -hmm. in a land of corn and wine. Mm -hmm. Yea, his heavens drop down dew. Now, let me, I want to show you that video uh, with uh, Malcolm X. Because we have to understand, you know, that you have to recognize when you see someone who is not for you. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Can I say it again? Oh, yeah. Recognize when someone is not for you. Mm -hmm. You got to be able to acknowledge when someone is for you, not against you, right? Come on, let's 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 read this. Because I'm going off the fact that Yah said that Israel shall dwell in safety. The eternal God is the dwelling place, and underneath the arms, underneath him are the everlasting oh, arms, cool. and he, Yah, <laughs> will thrust out the enemy before thee. That's why I said, don't be foolish. Don't go out there because you know you can't take care of it on your own. You need the most high. And the most high God can take care of it. He doesn't need our help. Nobody here has been deputized by the Creator to say, I'm gonna take care of it, Lord. Don't worry. Come shoot. In order for
for you and me to devise some kind of method or strategy to offset some of the events or re a repetition of the events that have taken place here in Los Angeles recently, we have to go to the root. We have to go to the cause. Dealing with the condition itself is not enough. And it is because of our effort toward getting straight to the root that people oftentimes think we are dealing in hate. We are oppressed. We are exploited. We are downtrodden. We are denied not only civil rights, but even human rights. So the only way we're going to get some of this oppression and exploitation away from us or aside from us is come together against a common enemy. <laughs> Who taught you to hate the texture of your hair? Who taught you to hate the color of your skin to such extent that you bleach to get like the white man? Who taught you to hate the shape of your nose and the shape of your lips? Who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet? Who taught you to hate your own kind? Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to? So much so that you don't want to be around each other. No, before you come asking Mr. Muhammad, does he teach hate? You should ask yourself, who taught you to hate being what God gave you? And I, for one, as a Muslim, believe that the white man is intelligent enough. If he were made to realize how black people really feel and how fed up we are without that old compromising sweet talk, stop sweet talking him. Tell him how you feel. Tell him how, what kind of hell you've been catching and let him know that if he's not ready to clean his house up, if he's not ready, to clean his house up. He shouldn't have a house. It should catch on fire and burn down. But again, it goes to show you that we have to be the ones to now, as he said, instead of hating ourselves, we have to love ourselves now. We have to do the complete opposite of what was taught to us. And the, the sad part about it is, you know, we have to read you, you have to read what the creator said about the, you know, the eternal God is a dwelling place and the, underneath are the everlasting arms. There is none like unto you, O Yeshua, all these things. Take those things and build yourself up, Israel. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to now undo what they've done to us and now what we're doing to each other. We have to undo that. So now they taught us how to hate. Who's going to teach us how to love? We have to do it ourselves because they're not going to teach us that because they love the fact that we stand on the con corner and beat each other up and kill each other. They love it because they say it makes my job much easier. Again, Israel dwelleth in safety. Do you want to dwell in safety, Israel? Do you want to have peace and not worry about this person trying to rob you or this person trying to take what you have? Come on. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee? Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto you? There's no people like you. God spiritually passed over Edom to get to you. He said, I don't want this one. I don't want the firstborn. I want this one. Us. He said, a people saved, saved by your hope. We are saved by Yah. You not sitting here for no reason. Come on now. The shield of thy help. And that is the sword, sword of, of thy, thy excellence. excellency. The fact that you can say, I need Yisrael, that's an excellent thing to say nowadays. That's the sword of your excellency. And thy that's your salvation now. The fact that you can say, I am a child of God. I am a son and daughter of the Most High. That is your reward. So don't sit here thinking like, oh, I'm supposed to be here. We did not have to be here. And the Most High did not have to choose us to occupy a seat. Come on. That's what we said. Happy are they. Happy are thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee. Now that you know yourself, then we have to live up to this name of Israel. He says. 
and thine enemies shall dwindle away before thee, mm -hmm. and thou shalt tread upon their high places. Amen. Hallelujah. And so Moshe, he blesses these tribes, these men. And now we go into the 34th chapter. Now, I have my own personal disclaimer. I believe that Moshe probably uh, wrote the first four verses of this book, and then the rest of the verses were probably written by Yehoshua or maybe one of the men that stood by him because Moshe couldn't have wrote it. <laughs> you understand? So somebody had to take over in the middle of the 34th chapter as we read. He says, and, Moshe went up. and Moses went up from the plains of Moab uh -huh. unto Mount Nebo right. to the top of Pisgah. Mm -hmm. That is over against Jericho. Mm -hmm. And Jehoah showed him all the land, even Gilead as far as Don, mm -hmm. and all Naphtali, mm -hmm. and the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, mm -hmm. and all the land of Yehuda, mm -hmm. as far as the Hinder Sea, mm -hmm. and the south, and, and the, the plain, plain, even the valley, valley of, of Jericho, Jericho, the city, city of, of palm trees. trees as far as so on. Now let's stop there for a moment. For those who went to the land of Israel, mm -hmm. you remember the very first time you went there? Did it have a spiritual impression on you? And I, and, and I say that because right now, Moshe is going through a personal experience now. Mm -hmm. He's sightseeing right now. Mm -hmm. He's in a humble state right now. Although he cannot go over into the land, the Most High was gracious to him for him to see the land. Now, just imagine, as I said, many of us who went into the land. It wasn't like you went into the state of Florida. You know, you're driving down 95 and, you know, you see the sign, welcome to Florida, you know. Welcome to this and that. Welcome to Georgia. It was a different feeling when you got off that plane at Ben Gurion Airport. We're going to change that name, too. Mm -hmm. It was a different feeling. You know how it was. I can't tell you your experience. You can't tell me my experience. I know it was a different feeling when you said, wow. And to think, also, me, I was the first out of all my family members to go to Israel. The first one. And I said, wow. When my mother told me about it, when I came back, she said, she said, you know, I was so proud that my oldest son was able to go to the land of Israel. And I said, wow, that now it made even more sense and had even more of a deeper meaning because who does that? We should be able to, you know, look for going to these places and understand that our home, Yisrael, should be on the top of our list. Mm -hmm. You know, a brother told me, you know, a long time ago, and this brother, we thought he was always, you know, just crazy and always saying stuff, but now that I've gotten older, I see what he was talking about. During this time, during this cog, the seven days of the Feast of Tabernacles, that's when he used to take his vacation. And I said, well, why are you taking your vacation? He said, everybody take their vacation during the summertime and go to Disney World and do this and do that. You know, and I was like, whoa, whoa, brother. You know, he's like, no, just listen for a moment. He said, I take off when Kaksuko come because I want to dwell in the booth every day. I'm going to sleep in the booth and I'm going to do that. And I said to myself, I said, wow. Now that I think about it, I said, I could understand now how he was trying to attain to a much spiritual level, to a higher level. Because you now I know how it is getting off of work trying to make these social events now that we have during the week. And then we get here and then we tired. Mm -hmm. So I understand, you know. But I pray that the Most High will change our conditions, you know, so that it won't be like that. So we have these social events. Oh, I, I ain't got to go to work. Why? Because I own it. Or I, I, I work for myself, you know, and I can take off a few days and I can be late to my own <laughs> establishment. That's what we're trying to achieve. Did I have any more videos? I have one more, right, Maury? No more pictures? I had some pictures of some tribes, but, you know, just to show you how 
you know, even uh, in Africa, you know, it was a glorious time in, in Africa, throughout the diaspora of Africa, that we had pride. And I believe that Moshe was coming from a sense of pride when he was blessing these tribes of Israel, to letting them know that, because guess what? Oh, the king of Bashan, mm -hmm. Sikon, the king of the Aramites, Amorites, they, ha they had pride. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think they were wearing? What type of, uh, uh, of garments do you think they were wearing? When you're talking about Og, the king of Bashan, and Sikon, the king of the Amorite, what do you think they were wearing? And that's why the creator said, I'm going to give Israel a culture. I'm going to give you, the priest, going to have garments. You're going to have fringes to put on your garments. You're going to have, you're going to look like this because everybody else, they had their garments. They had their, you know, what have you. This, oh, you know, this is my favorite brother right here. Y'all know who that is, right? Shaka Zulu. These are modern day kings of Africa, mm -hmm. certain places of Africa. Now he looks like, you no, know, some people might say, oh, he looked like a terrorist. Mm -hmm. Look at how he, look, he got his, he got his mask on. So he's following COVID. That's part of his garb. Mm -hmm. Come on now. That's us. That looked like Kasi right there. He's sitting on a Naphtali throne. But do you understand what I'm saying? This is where we come from. We come from royalty. And we tried to exercise that, as I said, in the 70s and late 60s and 70s, when they were wearing their, you know, Tony Yote and things like that. The only thing that was missing, Israel, you got to be right inside. Because other than that, if you don't have what's inside that the Most High God can see that you're sincere, everything else won't matter. So we have to have the whole package. Am I right? Being kind. Does that matter? There's a sign that I see every day in the school. If you can't be kind, then be quiet. Mm. Because then anything will come out of, your, out of your mouth because it's not kind, right? So if you can't be kind, then be quiet. Is it necessary? Right? What's the other thing? Is it true about being kind? All these things, all these affirmations we have. Ms. Shade, didn't you teach, about, teach us about that in Nitzavim with upright? Mm -hmm. Why is it so important for us to speak one to another in a manner that you would want to be, you know, you want somebody to talk to you in a manner like that that is positive, right? You don't want someone who's always complaining about something, right? You say, good morning. Well, I don't know about that, you know. So right away, you know, okay. But then even after that, don't let that person take you off of your positivity. Because that's what people do. They want to let you see what's wrong in their life. And then they'll say, like, you know, well, you know what's going on. Like, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That did happen to me. But don't let them throw you off. You know, life can be, you know, you can heal your body when you're kind. And when you're nice to people, laughter, they say, the Chinese people. You know, I, had, I grew, I went to school with a lot of Chinese people. They helped me with my math and everything. You know, we had a deal. There was one guy, his name was Michael Chang. I'll never forget him. Michael Chang, he smoked some cigarettes. When I tell you, boy, he could smoke, boy. And I, I said, Michael, why you smoke so much cigarettes? He said, I don't know. He said, this is what we do, you know? So I said, listen, man. I said, you know, when you take a break smoking cigarettes, I need some help in math. He said, oh, that's nothing. Because his mind was just like, he could just, I don't even have to show him the, 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 the um, formula. He could just say, oh, yeah, that's easy. Blah, blah, blah. He said, but I, I have one thing, of, I have one request from you. I said, what's that, man? He said, I want you to teach me economics. <laughs> he said, economics? Because I love economics. I could, sit, I could teach some economics. He said, I'll teach you math, you teach me economics. We had a deal. It didn't matter that he was Chinese. I ain't going to him. He's Chinese. What can he teach me? He could teach me a whole lot. But this is what I'm trying to tell even the young men and young women. When you go to school, you know, and don't be proud 
you know, if you need a tutor, don't be proud. Get that tutor. It don't matter what they look like. Well, he, he, don't, he look like he's, he's younger than me. He might be. But I'm telling you one thing, he ain't struggling in math. Come on, Israel. We have to be, we have to save ourselves before anyone else tries to save us. Come on, let's finish it out with Akashat. And then I'm going to end out with something else. He said, And Jehovah said unto him, mm -hmm. This is the land which I swore unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, saying, right. I will give it unto thy seed. Mm -hmm. I have caused thee to see it with thine eyes, mm -hmm. but thou, thou shalt shall not, not go, go over thither. Mm -hmm. That was a sad thing, though. After 40 years, you know, Moshe was hurt, you know. But he had to accept it because the Most High God said, When this is it, when your, when your job is done, that's it. So he had to accept it. He so, said, so, so Moses, the servant of Yahweh, died there and in this the is the land part, of Moab. This is the part I'm talking about, Zaquin, because Moshe probably, he could not have ri written uh, right. his, his own, uh, <laughs> right. his own uh, obituary. obituary. <laughs> so Moses, the servant of Yahweh, died there in the land of Moab, according mm -hmm. to the word of Yahweh, mm -hmm. and he was buried in the valley in the land of Moab, mm -hmm. over against Beit Peor. Mm -hmm. and no man knoweth of his sepulcher unto this day. Mm -hmm. And Moses was 120 years old when he died. Right. His, his eye, eye was, was not dim, dim right? nor his natural force abated. Meaning that you couldn't even tell. You know how you see some people, you say, man, he looks so fragile. You know, he looks so old. Moshe, he was fit, mm -hmm. 120 years old. You know, it looked like he could live another 120 years, you know. His eye, he wasn't like, you know, who's that? You know, like some of our parents, <laughs> you know, you standing right up on him. Who's that? <laughs> he wasn't doing that. He wasn't blind. He wasn't, he could, you know, if some of his senses, you know, jo somebody came, and he, uh, Joshua, so somebody's, you know, something's going on. 120 years old. Everything was right about him. And the children of Israel wept for Moses mm -hmm. in the plains of Moab 30 days. Mm -hmm. So the days of the weeping in the morning for Moses were ended. Mm -hmm. And Joshua, Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom, mm -hmm. for Moses had laid his hands upon him. Mm -hmm. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him uh -huh. and did as, as Jehovah, Jehovah commanded Moses. Do you know that that's how you transfer energy to another person? He said he laid his hands upon him. That's how you transfer energy to another person, you know. See, we don't understand that because we've been far removed from different things. You know how it is when, you know, when you ever, you know, shock somebody, you know. He say, oh, you shocked me. No, that's just that energy, man. Even a simple hug, that's energy. Well, not an Aknaman hug. That's just torture. <laughs> but a simple hug, that's energy right there. Some people say, oh. I love, oh, you give the best hugs. Why is that? Because something, I don't know, it could be something else too, but you know, but something about that transfer of energy, it works. So Moshe laid his hands because Joshua had to understand and know that he had a job to do. So he had to get that energy from Moses. He says, let's finish it out. And there, and there hath not arisen a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses, uh -huh. whom Jehovah knew face to face right. in all the signs, signs and, the and the wonders, wonders. which Jehovah sent him to do in the land of Egypt uh -huh. to Pharaoh and to all his servants mm -hmm. and to all, all his, his land, land and in all the mighty hand and in all the great terror which, which Moses wrought, wrought in the sight of, of all Israel. Israel. Hallelujah. That's why we sing the song. Moshe, Bain Amram, Moshe, Bain Amram, Moshe, Bain Amram, Haya Ishkado. Moshe, the son of Amram, he was a great man. And that's why we sing about him. And of course, brothers and sisters, you tell me, I ask you, did Moshe leave a legacy? Did he leave a legacy? Why do you think it's important for people to leave a legacy? <laughs> it's important. Mori, Vakusha, we'll end out with that. You don't have to play the whole thing, but let's just play some of it. Leaving a legacy. I want you to listen to this brother.
play, play like a couple of minutes of it and then we'll, we'll end out. Just powerful stuff though, man. Legacy, there's power in your name, power in your name. McDonald's is a last name. Abercrombie and Fitch, last names. Armani is a last name. Baskin Robbins is a last name. Chrysler is a last name. Fisher Price, Gucci, Hennessy, Harley Davidson, Hilton, Honda, Coles, Kraft Foods, Lowe's Movie Theater, Marriott is a last name, Maybach is a last name, Nordstrom is a last name, Pillsbury is a last name, Porsche is a last name, Procter & Gamble, two last names, Rolls Royce, Charles Rolls, Henry Royce, last names, Turner Broadcast System, Ted Turner, last name, Versace, last name, Wells Fargo, Henry Wells, William Fargo, last name, Walgreens, last name, Wrigley's, last name, Welch's Grape Juice, last name. Here you are, you think you're buying a product. You are not buying a product, you're buying a name. You think you're wearing a product. Hey, look at this product. No, you're saying, look at this family. And what you don't know is while you making every family rich, you making yourself broke. So you don't went to one family called Wells Fargo and got $200,000 so you can go to another family called Rolls Royce so you can give them money to get yourself a car so you can go back to the hood and see the Joneses and say, look at what I, what I got. Meanwhile, Wells Fargo, their family sitting up being rich and Harley Davidson's and Rolls Royce are being rich and the Joneses are sitting there holding up people's stuff saying, look at what we did and we broke. What if I told you that your blessing is attached to your name? That part of the reason why you're not wealthy yet is because you keep trying to make Yolanda wealthy. You keep trying to make Tasha wealthy. What if you made Johnson's wealthy? What if you started thinking about your kids? What if you started thinking about your legacy? What if God started dropping Canaan and opening up windows of heaven? Because now you're not just thinking about you, you're thinking kingdom. There are some people who are attached to you who are saying, Mama, can you do something with this name? There, there, there are some people who are saying, Dad, can you do something with this name? Maybe God gave you the name to change and reverse some of the stuff that the name meant one day. I wish there was somebody in this room that said my name might mean one thing right now, but I promise after today this name is getting ready to change. I promise after today everybody's going to want my last name. I'm here to let you know you are a curse breaker. You're thinking kingdom. You are not just getting married, you're breaking the curse. You are not just graduating from college, you're breaking the curse. You are not just getting out of high school, you're breaking the curse. You are not just saved, you're breaking the curse. And everybody around you is about to be blessed because of what God's getting ready to do in your life. I don't know what my name meant before I got here, but I know it's going to it's, it's It's more. It's more. There's more to it. It's just a long video, but if you want it, just ask me, text me directly. I'll send it to you. But this is powerful when I tell you, powerful. And Israel, we can do this, man. We can do this. There's power in your name. Leave a legacy. Think about that, all right? Hallelujah. 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 Y'all kind. Y'all kind. Y'all kind. Please stand before the Most High. Pray that my words did not fall upon deaf ears, that you got something out of it. Um, you know, <laughs> it's, 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 this is a tough station right here, brothers and sisters. I want you to know, but, you know, with the help of the Almighty, I pray that, you know, my words and the words of those that come up here, that they would resonate in your heart and in your mind. Hallelujah. I would say the words of the blessing found in Numbers, the sixth chapter, the 24th verse. Yivarek ka Yehoah wa Yishmareka. Yair Yehoah panayo alecha we kuneka. Yisa Yehoah panayo alecha we yasim lecha shalom. Yehoah bless thee and keep thee. Yehoah cause his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Yehoah lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Hallelujah. Yachai.
Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Mikem.